regarding treatment. Percutaneous transluminal angioplasty, PTA, was the only published technique. And please, refer just to what is published, not to blog of patients. PTA was demonstrated to be safe. Stenting was never used. In consequence of the high risk of migration, we do not have currently a lack of college and knowledge of the fate of metallic stent implanted in the long term in the venous wall in people with <coughs> lifelong expectancy, like young people affected by MS, and for the lack of dedicated material. So we do not recommend to use stenting procedure. PTA in the jugular vein showed high rate of restenosis from 29 uh, to 47%, but in the articles did not. However, PTA can be safely repeated, and they're recommended to use this with respect to, uh, to the stenting procedure. Influence on PTA on MS outcome in the general vascular surgery study cited by Dr. Miller. Significant reduction of relapses, significant reduction of active lesion, improved multiple sclerosis functional composite, improved quality of life also in secondary progressive and primary progressive people, significant decrease in chronic fatigue, and probably chronic fatigue is the symptom of CCSVI. This study, have, of course, is a pilot study and presents shortcoming, absence of control group, and of blinded assessment. This is certainly not rigorous study. We need uh, of this in order to plan randomized control study based on the uh, results of this pilot study. We also designed a, a pilot study together with the Buffalo group that is called endovascular treatment multiple sclerosis study. Uh, we divided our patient population in two groups. The first group underwent to immediate treatment, is immediate endovascular treatment group. And the second group, uh, DELIAD, endovascular treatment group, uh, was operated on six months later. So for six months, we take the opportunity to measure clinical and MRI outcome with very rigorous protocol. And this is under the way of publication we know just uh, uh, vascular outcome. Treatment also in this group with endovascular angioplasty was safe and well tolerated. Rate of restenosis was decreased with respect to the first study, 0% in the articles, 29% in the internal jugular vein. Endovascular treatment MS study evaluated its clinical outcome measure MRI conventional and non-conventional measure, including longitudinal data on iron deposition. Complete statistical analysis is underway by an independent statistician, and we plan to present this at the next ACTRIMS meeting. Perspectives. These are some perspectives in, uh, in our center. From the point of view of the basic sciences, we are creating a model of endothelial cells modification at the transcriptional level modulated by the known and measured hemodynamic stimuli. From the point of view of epidemiology, we are planning together with Italian Association of MS a blinded studies on CCSVI prevalence in our country. Genetics. We investigated mutation in genes involved in venous apparatus development in a locus related to multiple sclerosis susceptibility. <laughs> this pilot study is in press, but, but is under embargo, and we reveal the results very interesting from my point of view next month. Pathology of venous malformation, including morphology and proteomics, are under the way of publication together with the Geneva group. Pathophysiology, including advanced MRI and non-conventional techniques, are working group together, Robert Zivadi and Binek. And treatment, we are planning together the Italian MS Association a rigorous randomized control trial uh, to compare uh, RR um, with and without 
uh, the additional tool of angioplasty. Thank you for your attention.